Hello, I'm Yvonne Sims, Head of Oracle Marketing at Brillasoft, and I will be hosting today's virtual session. Today, we'll discuss the difficulties freight forwarders are facing implementing the cloud, how to stay current using the cloud. Before we get started, let me introduce our distinguished guest. We have Chris Peckham, the Senior Principal Product Strategy Manager at Oracle, and Tashar Pandis, the Global Practice Director at Brillasoft. Let's get started. The first question is for you, Tashar. What are some of the difficulties freight forwarders are having implementing capabilities within the cloud? So when it comes to the whole uh, transformation, uh, obviously there is a need to have the incremental uh, steps. Um, see, as I mentioned, there is a desired state in terms of embedding all these uh, capabilities, uh, mobility, cloud, analytics, uh, whole automation aspect from the job planning and execution. Uh, but uh, as uh, we get across this whole transformation, the change management is the most uh, important aspect. Um, and in freight forwarding, it is really critical because there are a lot of external parties who are involved. So how effectively you manage this change, uh, which is uh, being uh, or which will come in as a part of this transformation, I think that plays a very important role. Technology is there. We have deployed a lot of uh, uh, at a lot of places and have seen the benefits. But it is more about the whole change management exercise and orienting the whole organizations towards new ways of working, uh, be it in terms of pre-booking or a pre-order, during order, and the post-order scenario. Uh, the second aspect is um, how um, the looking at the feasibilities and possibility of uh, the whole interdepartmental uh, collaboration. How can you drive it through system uh, rather than uh, the manual uh, intervention? Um, so when I look at like, let's say OCM, definitely the critical aspect. Uh, but the second important thing uh, which uh, is required is, okay, as you try to collaborate it internal as well as external, try to find what could be the potential challenges. Okay. It could be as simple as that is the solution or the platform accessible in the remote places uh, of working uh, the issues of connectivity. Um, that could be the easiest way, but at least yes, going to that level and validating. Uh, secondly, redefining the roles and responsibilities because this change in the solution will call for different roles evolving, people looking at it in a different dimension. Uh, so have that clarity up front. And as the solution is getting built and tested, uh, ensure that you kind of look at it uh, holistically, uh, not in uh, isolation uh, because operational dimension should be linked uh, to the financial simulation. So have end-to-end -end visibility and even look at it the uh, whole planning execution and settlement aspect uh, in line with that so these are some of the uh, do's and don'ts as we try to get across the system deployments uh, and the oracle cloud-based transformation in the freight forwarding domain thanks so much tushar so the final question is for you chris oracle provides automated quarterly updates with their cloud applications how is it helping customers like freight forwarders by enabling new features? So freight forwarding is, is unique and different in a lot of ways from, from how people might view a more traditional transportation problem. You know, forwarding tends to be very transactional in nature and also involves many different parties in those various transactions. Uh, that being the case, you know, having a single unified collaborative platform that can support those many different parties throughout the entire quote to cash life cycle uh, can be a distinct advantage for a forwarder. Uh, another advantage, and, and certainly one that everyone is uh, you know, all too familiar with over the past year or so, is the availability of applications in the cloud. As so many people were pushed from traditional offices to home-based workspaces, you know, companies whose employees had access to all of their uh, business critical systems by, you know, simply opening a web browser had a big advantage over those who did not uh, because they were able to continue to operate their business with with minimal disruptions. Well, thank you again, Chris, and to our other distinguished guests. If you have questions about how to actually implement Oracle Cloud and um, staying up to date on the latest advancements, you can reach us the following ways. Have a wonderful day.